This week on Timberborn. Oh my goodness. 50 beavers are contaminated. We have 15 that are working. Look at them all. Look at them all. They're just wandering around doing nothing. Bad tide approaching. Oh my life. I just don't know what to do. Well, welcome back to Timberborn, everybody. And wow, I really messed up. We have so many sick beavers. It is unbelievable. I've completely messed up. As you saw at the end of the last episode, maneuvering around, working well. <gasps> I was so enamored with our big, massive power battery thing over here that I forgot about the bad water. And we've got 1.8 days left, and it is everywhere. Now, to try and fix this issue, and I'm sure this was commented loads in the last episode, I was trying to plant something over here which isn't used by the farmers. Uh, the dandelions are actually looked after by the forester and the lumberjack, I believe. That is the case. Good guess but wrong. So what I want to do is plant them somewhere where we've got access over here. What have we got? We've got this guy. We'll come all the way up here. Brilliant. Oh, mine alive. And they're actually under the trees one as well. So I'm a complete numbskull. Now they're going to take, good grief, three days to grow and then another three days. So is that three days to grow, three days to mature and then we'll get those in and then we'll be able to make the stuff that we need to cure our beavers and we're gonna need 40 of those this really isn't enough is it oh good grief could i just sort of fill in every little blank spot that we've got around here i think that might be a good idea could we just plant them over here as well i think we will we've got tons of food we've got potatoes for days uh, this is all dying because of the water issue. Aren't I glad that we filled this in and we've got so much water and food? I think we're going to make it through for the food and the water. What I'm really worried about is the 41 beavers. They're just getting more and more ill. Oh, I just don't know what to do. If I stop them from crossing over here, we're going to trap a load of beavers i'm just thinking if we just speed things up and get to the night if i just disconnect this over here and maybe we'll save some of the beavers at least the kiddie winkies aren't going to be going through there and getting ill uh path delete yes don't cross there's no path why are you still crossing what so you're going to do it whether there's a path or not oh uh, okay whatever whatever i mean i could build across the top of here which would actually be a good idea i mean if we sort of go like this get that done so i'm going to rejigger this a little bit over here i'm going to add that path there this is going to be destroyed yep and we're going to pop that there because we're going to have a path that goes straight over the top like so there we go these are gonna go because we're not using them anymore and we don't need them you've all told me that these pumps down here are more than enough and then i'm gonna put this over here yep there we go oh the bad tide has ended hooray so at least now they can get up and down if they need to and they can go straight across without going underwater why i didn't do that before uh we'll never know but at least now this is coming through here so it can wash out all the nastiness this we're going to struggle with i mean it doesn't look like it's too contaminated it's not taken away from all of this so i think we're okay oh we can connect this up here as well now look i think i've missed that for the last uh few episodes 38 unwell beavers is that because a load have died oh my goodness me what's that one there mean beavers contaminated oh 17 contaminated beavers not good not good how far away are these dandelion seedlings they're gonna take a while these are still dead come on wash through wash through so while we're seeing whether we're actually going to survive or not um what i want to do is make a little change on these it's something that a lot of you have told me about we can set these uh to just obtain like that and prioritize by haulers so there we go we're going to do that on all of these so that is going to keep uh, some water stocked around all over the place and it's going to obtain water from these our main water storage i'm going to unpause these just because oh we're gonna have to oh we're not gonna have enough workers are we for all the flipping jobs oh my life i've got to really be careful um okay let me just do that first with all of these there we go so hopefully now that'll all be dealt with by haulers why is this sort of oh they're just all dead aren't they they just need replanting yeah okay where's our farmer for this area here we've got no right i'm gonna have to go through and make sure that all of the jobs that we don't need are paused. 
just so we yeah we don't need you doing the bad water pumps so you're gonna stop all of our science is gonna stop i know i can press the p key that'll be quicker what are you doing hauling post we've got nobody there grill we do need what have we got we've got lots of berries so if we run out of stuff we've got berries these i'm gonna just put two in each but we're gonna leave those on high priority all of these are gonna be paused because we want to just get our food going. That is the main, main thing. Um, let us pop these on high priority and just make sure we're getting people. Sorry, beavers in those. What else have we got going on? We're going to pause both of these. Yep, you're out of a job. Get lost. And we're going to pause you. Um, we're not pausing you. You, we want ultra high priority. As soon as we get dandelions in, I need you working there. Uh, what have we got here? I'm going to drop those down a couple. Oh, man, this is just like going to be a disaster. We've got one in that hauling post. What about my builders over here? Are we going to be building anything? No. So my builders all being paused. So now we're short nine vacancies. Where else can I take beavers out of? Oh, we've got all of these in the pumps over here. I'm going to drop these down to two each. We've got so much water. In fact, I'm going to drop them down to one. Why are you all so thirsty? We've just got water for days. It's all connected up. You can all get it. Please don't die first. Are you dying of thirst because you can't get the water because you're contaminated? Is that... <gasps> Look at his face. <laughs> Chatridia, I'm so sorry. Vingy. Yeah, I'm wondering whether they are going to just die of starvation because they can't get the food and they can't get the water. I had no idea that that was a thing. We've got some flowers. We've got <laughs> no need for it. Oh, my life. Oh, my life. Oh, my life. Um, Yeah, you can still work on that. Why is that a problem? Oh, it's because this is all still bad water. It's just not washing it out, is it? Oh, good gravy. I think I need to get rid of this. And I tell you why, because eventually that is just going to evaporate, which is not a good thing. But yeah, 40, we've got 25 beavers left. As the dandelions. So I think we're at this bit here, aren't we? When they're ready to be plucked. Or can we save any of the contaminated beavers? That is going to be the thing. I feel like I want to put even more dandelions in somewhere. Oh, look, this forester can reach all the way to down here. Let's stick some more dandelions down here. Let's utilize all the space. And they also reach a little bit of this farm over here. Oh, my goodness. 50 beavers are contaminated. We have 15 that are working. We're minus four. We were so flipping close to unlocking iron teeth. Look at them all. Look at them all. They're just so unwell. They're just wandering around doing nothing. Oh, my life. Oh, good grief. It's just getting worse. Okay, we've got tons of farms and things everywhere. I am going to pause that one. This one here, I'm going to set to just harvest and not replant because we've got all of this food and we've got all of the food we've got saved so i'm just going to go with that and that hopefully will free up some beavers for the jobs that we've got none of look at this poor beaver here emotion chips what, what kind of a name for a beaver is that <laughs> thank you for your support on patreon i hope you're all enjoying the satisfactory series as well that is going really well over on patreon but yeah minus 17 oh i had so many good plans for going through all of these things and you've been giving me some great suggestions as well but yeah i'm slightly worried i am slightly worried right these are very close today's the day uh we don't have a, a forester i'm like up in the thing uh tapper shack yeah you're going Who's it going to be? Oh, it's going to be Sam Holtby. Excellent. Thank you very much, Sam. Be ready. These things, 97, 98. Come on. Oh, these are popping up. The dandelions. Come and get the dandelions. Sam. Sam, where are you? No, buddy. Prioritize resource. A dandelion. Come on. Yes. The dandelions. Excellent. You're planting them. <laughs> Pick. Come and pick the dandelion, Sam. Don't run away and go to bed. Gotta wait a whole nother flopping day. No, I'm sorry. We're, 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 no, I'm um, making the work day longer. 24 hours. Sam, come back and do your job. Stop flopping planting. <laughs> <laughs> Pluck the dandelions, please. Where are you going now? You're planting even more. Oh, my life, Sam. You're killing me. No, what? Look. Okay, you cover this area. 
These are ready. Oh, it's because I'm a complete numbskull. I am a complete numbskull. It's these, isn't it? Close. Who's it going to be? Oh, it's... Whoa. Oh, it's going to be Matisse Peterson. Thank you very much, Matisse. Come and do the... Th what? How the heck are we getting these dandelions? They're ready. What am I missing? Days to grow. Gathered by gather a flag. Oh man, what kind of mixomatosis is this? Okay, do we have a gather a flag that covers that? No, we don't. Let's pop in a gather a flag right next to the darn things. Oh my life. Your paws. I don't care. Go away. I want this done. Oh, thank you very much, Wes. Getting the work done. Pop. Right, who's going to be working here? It's Matisse Peterson. Matisse! He's finally doing it. Oh, good grief. We need to make sure we set these to prioritise dandelions. We've got another one going in over here, which is going to prioritise dandelions as well. Once they wake up in the morning, don't worry about it. You just be contaminated and ill. Go to sleep. You know, don't worry about doing things that are going to save your population. It's fine. It's fine. I'm going to fill these in now because we can get these planted. 49 contaminated beavers. We must have cured a beaver with some stuff unless they died of course that's probably more likely i'm gonna make the best use of our space over here we're gonna remove all of these and then we can start filling this in with dandelions as well right up to the end which will be good let's just i really got to make these nice and tidy we'll get rid of those get that all filled in excellent and we know that's going to be covered by you who's sat around doing nothing at the moment go and do other jobs thank you very much i'm not entirely sure but i feel like we're possibly getting there oh i've just realized i don't need 40 dandelions to make antidote it's this here look two dandelions a piece of paper two berries i'm a muppet so we've got two antidote here i know my brain's all befuzzled when i'm uh <laughs> My brains will be fuzzled because I think everyone's going to die. So basically, we... I mean, they can all come here and get the antidote. There's three in there, which I'm hoping they're just coming to grab. Oh, a beaver just went in. Contaminated by bad water. If we just follow Cadu Vom around, you went in and you came out. Did you grab antidote? Let's see. Does it, like, take some time? Oh, there's a thing here. I didn't even see that antidote. Did that just change? Am I completely blind? Yeah, I am completely blind. It had a one on it. Or it had that lit up. So do they need a certain amount of antidote before they get cured? Is that how it works rather than it being one antidote each? Okay, right. You're going in. Right. You've got half of the antidote. And then it's wearing off. Okay, so doing a little tiny bit of research, it seems like that they need to have the antidote like 10 times or something. Oh, we're up to minus two. Fantastic. Um, before it actually cures them. So I've got to be honest, I don't think we're ever going to cure all these beavers. And what's annoying is just that little thing over the top there would have stopped this happening at all. And yeah, it's all a bit of a bummer. I think we're just going to lose all of these beavers to be honest and we're relying on the new breed of beavers that are <laughs> the second generation of beavers to solve this problem which is a real bummer how much tnt have we got we have 48 tnt now while those beavers are <laughs> sorting themselves out over there <coughs> you know what i mean i was talking before about blowing open this little channel over here of course, if we do that, we will need to add some other sort of dam over there so we can close it off when the bad water comes. Uh, also, lots of suggestions from you lovely folk about moving these up here. So you've always got power even when there's bad water because we push the bad water through here so it keeps moving, which is okay. I mean, that's a good idea. Also, lots of you saying about constricting this area to get the water to flow through better, which I am going to do. I'm going to set that out now, actually. We are going to get some levees and... Oh, I've got power paths everywhere haven't i but I'm if i do that we're not going to have water all the way back up here are we um yeah the overriding consensus was to sort of put levees close this all in so you're forcing the water through here and also not to have one after the other like this which i'm sure that's what somebody said to do bad tide approaching oh good grief uh we've got the water we've got the food we haven't got many beavers so i think we'll <laughs> We haven't got any many beavers. That, I mean, I'm sort of... I don't want to just discount these. Oh, dear. Tezzy died of old age. But that's what's going to happen. They're just going to all keep dying of old age. Yeah. But if I restrict the water here and close this off, then the water doesn't stretch as far. Although we've got this coming up here. But I'm actually not hurting for power, am I? I mean, these things are up high. All right. I'll tell you what. When I'm hurting for power, then I might make a difference to that. 
because at the minute i just don't need the power but yeah so if i opened up this then we'd have to make another dam there um for that reason but what i might do is lower this down because i'm pretty sure we can do that with no problem by plopping a load of tnt down here now i'm thinking what have we got here oh, terrain blocks i'm thinking of unlocking the triple dynamite and going down super low i'm assuming each of these is going to take three dynamites oh it says there two okay what is this two extract one dynamite at uh, one explosive i mean we've got a lot of extract we've got 135 and we've got <laughs> oh there we go 48 <laughs> couldn't see for looking but that would really give us a whole load of extra water down there and we've got the science so i am going to unlock that and i'm just gonna i mean if we just blow out like a whole area just like down here like this i'm gonna do it a bit at a time because then we'll do some more and we'll dig this nice and low i mean we could even do like this section here with it means this will fill up with even more water i'm actually wondering whether that'd be a better idea yeah we're gonna do this bit here we're going to fill this up. They should be able to get down there. I don't know what the math is on that, but if that goes down three, uh, how far down is that? Let's see. Do I actually need to do a three there? One, two. So that will go even lower than what is currently there because then we could do this even lower afterwards, like a whole one layer. Let's give that a go. Let's see what happens. Oh, also, the other idea for power was to do what I started doing here, having power wheels in here. Unless there's a drought, this bad water's running all the time, isn't it? Of course. Oh, man. Bad tide. Biffa, remember, shut the flipping dam when the bad tide comes. So we haven't got any issues and we don't kill all the remaining beavers, which would be an utter disaster. Oh, these are 100%. Let's unpause that. Thank you very much. Halith, get to work. And we've got some over here as well. Yeah, Matisse is on the case. Oh, we're back up to zero. Hooray. So as soon as we get rid of all the contamination, we're going to jump right up to a super high happiness because they're going to instantly forget all the beavers that we've lost along the way. Oh, my goodness. I'm just looking through the list of beavers that are not very well. And I have seen what some people... Oh, look at them all. Look at them all. I have seen what some people do, which is put another district together and send all the contaminated beavers over there i don't think that's what we're going to do as much as it seems like a complete waste to continue feeding them and trying to cure them darn it i'm going to do my best for the beavers they were here when times were tough i'm going to do my best to look after them even though it's like a complete waste of resources oh everything's so peaceful everyone's gone to bed well apart from these beavers that are running around don't you know what time it is go to bed sleep because tomorrow is the bad tide and we're going to find out how long it is we're up to 27 beavers five days bad tide i nearly forgot again uh let's just close that up thank you very much let's pop that down thank you very much get all that going through there this is all filled up all the pumping over here has stopped anyway because we're literally living off of these two now which i don't even think we need both of these but oh what are you doing in there <gasps> oh it's little flags i thought that was the actual tnt i was gonna say i wouldn't sit in there if i was you that's probably not a good idea so just looking at a little pond that we've got in the middle just in case i accidentally let the bad tide water through again i'm just wondering whether we should add a little floodgate here so we can open and close that um to at least save this water so i'm gonna do that we'll bump it up we've got the planks and the logs i would imagine five planks okay we're running out of planks which makes sense because i've turned off all my plank production oh one beaver with nothing to do okay come and make some planks zodok okay 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 we'll keep going we're gonna get through these 4.3 days i would imagine uh no problem at all oh all of this tnt takes extract which is the centrifuge which we haven't unlocked locked yet it's not just bad water i was a little bit confused about what was going on i was thinking of this thing over here um so we've got the bad water pump we've got the explosives factory and then we need to turn some of this into extract ah do i want to just go with the standard tnt i mean i could go down a couple of levels with that we've got 37 of them and we can easily make more so i'm just wondering while we're sort of struggling with what we're struggling with at the moment let's not overcomplicate things um and just stick to what we've got i think that's probably the best idea there we go we'll drop a layer of those in and then we can always do another layer and another layer underneath oh, man, look at them all look at them all <laughs> they're so contaminated 
It's, oh, dear. Yeah, we're going to lose them all. We're going to lose them all. Oh, look, got little bubbles coming out the top. I didn't notice that before. But basically, we've got like 52 dandelions. It's the paper that we're going to be running out of next. Um, yeah, you're not storing any paper in here. We've got eight. So do we get our paper factory going again? Or do we just cut our losses? I mean, logs into paper. It's not too much of an issue. We've got one beaver who hasn't got a job. Go on then. Go on then. Hadrian, you can make some paper for us. We've got plenty of logs. Yeah, let's keep that thing going. We can see what we can do. At least we'll have a bit of a backlog, even though we're sort of wasting it on all these beavers. <laughs> We'll have a bit of a backlog, and that might be helpful as well. Oh, we seem to have lost Dave to old age. Hard luck, Dave. Always knew you were a bit weak. So we've had a lot of trees that have died over here. I'm just wondering whether we could plant some chestnut trees in here instead. Can't I just plant over the top of these, or do I need to get these removed? It's not letting me just go over the top. All right, we'll mark these for demolition. So we'll sort of mark this area out for oak trees, and then down here we'll pop in, what were these, chestnut trees? So we get this little chestnut thing. What do we do with that? Do we cook that in a grill? We do. Chestnut on a log gives you two chestnuts. So we're basically doubling up our chestnuts. What's this one here? Spadadoc gives you three. To be honest, we've got so much food at the minute. 500. Let's just do one thing at a time. Let's wait until all this has been removed. We can replace that. And the TNT's in because we're so short on people. All oh, three beavers without a job. Um, I tell you what we're going to do is we are going to get um we've got two in there two in there and two in there we're going to get another one harvesting in there that'll be good and then we're going to get another one in there and that'll be good and we'll see how that goes and then i want to start getting oh the bad tide has ended fantastic then i want to start getting some haulers and things in as well let's just wait for this to finish back here almost nearly done the land is coming back to life. And yeah, I think that will do. Let it all out. Might have overdone it a bit there, but that'll be fine. Excellent. Going well, going well. Oh, there we go. And our water uh, small tanks that we've got the haulers bringing in are nicely filled up. So hopefully people that live over here, people, beavers, beavers. Sorry, I mean beavers, not hamsters, beavers. Uh, so they've got the food, they've got the water, so they don't have to run so far. Uh, how are these ones over here doing? These ones are struggling. I'm actually going to put these back to prioritise by haulers as we're getting a little bit better with our beaver population and see how that goes. Oh, up to 34. Oh, we're back to one again. Excellent. And then I'm wondering whether I should set some of these as supply like this along the back. Supply goods to other warehouses. That actually makes a bit of sense to me. So I'm going to just set these back ones like that to supply. Um, and we'll leave it like that. I'm not going to prioritize those by haulers as well. We'll just see how that goes. Oh, are all of these done? Oh, okay. Well, shall we uh, Shall we detonate all of this? I think that'd be a good idea. And you've all told me I don't need to do them one at a time. I can just click detonate on one. And we'll get a nice little thing that will happen like this. Hey, and the water's dropping down. Fantastic. That is what we want to see. I'm going to take this down another level once we have more beavers and we can get our uh, TNT explosive production back up again. And then one of the things that I did want to do, which I'm not sure we're going to get to it this time, um, was a lot of you have been... I, I, I mean, your comments have just been fantastic. I've really been appreciating them is they're all going to be walking up and down here, the beavers. So we could put like little uh, platforms like that. And then like the decoration uh, well-being stuff, we could pop a shrub on top of there and they will get the shrub bonus as they're walking along. What else have we got? Hammock for relaxation, a lantern. Oh, that is a nice little... Uh, I like that. That's good. So yeah, we can do things like that. Beaver statue. Yeah, I'm thinking shrubs all the way along here just to give these all the shrub bonus if we start here and go all the way like along to there and then we're going to start a shrubbery <laughs> all the way along here because apparently again apparently apparently the benefits that they get here they have to be within the area of it for a long time so i've had lots of other comments about how we, if we build up all the houses or like this take this one for example we've got this lodge on top of that lodge oh no it's a double height lodge isn't it but lodges that are stacked up they'll get the benefit of whatever's on the top all the way through so if you stack them up super high and then put a roof on the top they all get the benefit overnight 
Um, but things like this, as they're walking up and down a lot, I think that'll be quite handy. And then we could even do it along here as well. Maybe as a as a low priority sort of thing. There we go, up to the end. We'll start a shrubbery. So I'm thinking of also getting the explosives factory going again on a slightly higher one of these. So just to keep that going, we've got the bad water. There we go, working away, working away. That pump will have to go as well, won't it? If we put that on medium... I just want more explosives. 60 dandelions. We're going up. That's good. Paper 34. I feel like everything's getting back on a bit of an even keel again. Um, they're slowly removing these. I'm going to up the priority just to get this done. Oh, they're loving it. They're gnawing those trees like there's no tomorrow. Oh, this is going well. Only 13 sick beavers up to seven. Uh, four available jobs. Um, let's get some of you going down here. I mean, food, actually. We've got so much food. I'm not overly concerned. I'm going to sort of put these down a level like that. We've got three left. What's this one here doing? Metal blocks. Yeah, we'll do that. Planks. Yeah, I'm going to get another planks going as well. And we've got one other. Oh, we're back. I think we've got all of our jobs. And even with not all of our water things filled up, I'm going to do two in there. And we've still got one with that. Oh, my goodness me. Where where can you work? Oh, I know where you can work. We haven't got these going, have we? Let's get that on. There we go. Up to level 7. 65 beavers. 66 beavers. Oh, man. We are bringing this back. These I'm all going to delete. Um, I just don't think we need these anymore. And I want the space. So they're all going to go. And then we'll decide what to do. We might build out a little bit here and try that still waiting for these to be dug up if they would flip and get round to it that would be great oh another bad tide approaching in three days i mean i don't honestly see that being a problem <laughs> considering what we've just come back from oh man alive i think we're doing pretty much okay at the moment so moving forward it's basically going to be trying to expand and grow and not mess mess up like we did last time so getting more crops and things around here working out where we can build an even bigger dam i mean at some point i would like to pick like a huge area and dam it all off and see see what we can do all oh, these are filling up nicely let's just up the priority on all of these we can get this down and done although this is a pretty big source of water isn't it but i'd like to drop like the level of all of this down as well and then we can take out some of these water wheels that aren't really doing anything that might be an idea oh oh, oh we've got another four okay we're gonna add one into there we'll add another one or two into there i'll tell you what we do need we've got so many potatoes that aren't getting cooked is we could do with another grill and that will help us when we get all the other items as well. So let's actually pop that out the back here. Uh, this farm could probably do with another couple in there. And in fact, I'm going to put the other one in there. So those are both filled up. Fantastic. Oh, when our grill is done, we've got Cod way far away working for us there. Thank you very much, Cod. Way, way far away. What can we do? I mean, at the minute, it's going to be grilled potatoes because they won't flip and plant the chestnut trees until the other ones have been removed. But that's fine. We'll get that going. And then storage-wise, I do need more storage for potatoes. So maybe we can grab another one of those. Now we can get back to building again. And I'm going to run this all the way around the edge here like so yeah excellent and then we can run a little path all the way along here all the way down there splendiferous only one person <gasps> left contaminated and we've got 78 beavers oh man alive this is going great this is going great i think we've come back bigger and better than before oh they've done the shrubbery as well look at this look at the bonuses are going to be getting going through here i love it have they done the other side as well they've done the other side as well we're up to level 10 oh man have they done the tnt uh no it's not quite done yet we're nearly there we're nearly there oh man alive we've done it no contaminated beavers we're hovering around 11 what is it we need to get 15 oh we're so close oh they're not getting the wet fur anymore because they don't go through the water oh darn it that's a little bit annoying isn't it um could we add the showers in 
Let's unlock that. And what do they take to build? Nothing at all. And I think they need to overhang. Oh, that is just perfect, isn't it? Oh, actually, it's not perfect because we need to like move the path over. But if I just fill that up with showers, that is going to be great. Oh, there we go. Then they can get the wet fur bonus. We're now on a solid 11. And the bad tide is upon us. It's an eight-day bad tide. We have food. <gasps> my life i'm doing it again i'm doing it again what is my problem okay only a little bit of bad tide is coming through a tiny amount biffa pay flipping attention to what you're doing i nearly killed all me beavers <laughs> again i've just flipping got through solving that problem oh what am i like while we're waiting for that to be done, let's get the last six beavers into some jobs. That's filled up. One, two, three, four. Do you know what we could add in then? Because I think everybody here has got their full complement of beavers. No, you haven't. Whoa, doo -doo -doo. what did I press there? Uh, you can have another one. You can have another one. You're fine. Um, over here, you're filled up. You're filled up. Okay, so what are these? These are the builder's huts. I want another hauler over here. So I'm going to grab a hauling post, stick that up here, out the way, there, there we go. We'll put that on extra, sort of, extra crispy, <laughs> extra medium, you know what I mean. And then we'll set that to middling, like we've got all of these. And then that will just take anybody hauling on this side of the map, which we haven't got yet. Oh, they're all done. Okay, here we go. Right, I'm going to pause. I'm going to detonate. We're going to get this nice little view here across our lovely little beaver colony and we're gonna end on a nice explosion there we go we've made it fantastic even more water being stored that is what i want to see it's all flooding through absolutely fan flipping fantastic thank you very much for watching we've got over 80 beavers nobody contaminated we're up to 12 we are so close to unlocking iron teeth which is my next target that is what we're going for be back here next saturday i can't believe we made it back with heart barely any barely any deaths at all thanks for watching take care everybody <laughs> Bye bye.